The coronavirus tops our news here at 6 o'clock. We'll get to the major developments involving return to school plans coming up in just a few moments. But first, we need to look at the numbers. 373 uh, new cases, a total of six. Uh, 63,870 uh, total cases thus far. There have been 32 additional deaths for a total of 5,947 lives lost in our state. And because of the rise in cases, Governor Whitmer says the entire state will not be able to move to phase five of reopening by the 4th of July weekend, but she is easing visitor restrictions on nursing homes and other long term care facilities. Exceptions can now be made for visits with residents who are in serious or critical condition or hospice care or for those who assist healthier residents with activities of daily living. At the national level, Dr. Anthony Fauci says right now the U.S. is seeing around 40,000 new cases every day, a number that could rise to 100 if something doesn't change quickly. And this is the kind of scene Fauci says has to stop. At 5.30, we showed you this video from inside Royal Oaks Fifth Avenue Brewery. This was from over the weekend. You see, packed house, hard to find much social distancing taking place. Yeah, and in fact, the state's chief medical executive revealed today that infections among younger people in Michigan are rapidly increasing. Early in the outbreak, most new cases were occurring in people who are under the age of 50. But in June, that changed. The rate of new cases is now higher for people under the age of 50. And in the past two weeks, the rate of new cases is highest in people ages 20 to 29. 23% of cases in the month of June were in this age group, 20 to 29. Really interesting. Yeah. And Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to kind of break down this. This really what is a troubling trend, Doc. Absolutely.